I've been asked many times, how did I start off in photography? Here's the story as I remember it. See, my father, of course, was a pharmacist and he sold cameras. And also, even more importantly, he had, uh, he was a, uh, uh, provided a development, uh, uh, you know, developing and printing service. People would bring the rolls of film in and we'd send it out to the processor, we'd come back and then we'd pass it on to the customer. And so, uh, when I was quite young, uh, I was always using one or other box brownie cameras, Kodak cameras that, that he sold. And what was great, because we didn't have to pay to have our own photographs developed and processed. So I could take a lot of pictures without uh, worrying about that. And uh, after a while, I graduated eventually to a 35 millimeter camera. And uh, then I was very lucky uh, when I was about 18 or so, there was a man who was a friend of my father's who was a press photographer. And I used to hang out with him and he taught me uh, quite a lot about photography as I look back. So I had a number of cameras. There was a box brownies of various types. And my father had a wonderful camera, which I'm trying to get now as a, uh, just as a memento of him called a Zeiss 10X. But I, I've never been able to come across one. And uh, uh, I had an, another quarter, I think it was called an Ambi, which is a 35 millimeter. These were not reflex cameras, of course. And um, then, so to me, the most important thing was who, what did I take, who did I take pictures of? Well, I took one of a sailboat, uh, which won me third competition, third prize in a Kodak school competition, uh, which of course was cropped and blown up by this, by this lab. But what, as I'm thinking, so many of the pictures I took in those early days were of my mother. She really was my, my major subject. There was a picture of her, uh, she used to love to dress up to go to balls, you know, and there was in the bedroom, the corner of the bedroom, there was like a big sort of uh, makeup and table for her, which had a, which was like a, a two mirrors at right angles, went all the way pretty well up to the ceiling. And I took this picture of, there, of her one evening there with when you can get, you saw her face, but also the lights behind reflected in the, in the mirror. It was a very beautiful picture. She looked at a black, a black sort of, you know, evening dress. It was a very lovely picture. And I remember uh, taking many pictures of her, like sort of snapshots, because remember this, the, the box brownie was hardly a, a snapshot sort of, you know, a camera. And uh, I mean, like I, you know, she, I, I, I took a lot of pictures of her once uh, talking on the boat with her, uh, with her best friend at the time, a woman called Rebe Bergman. And my mother hated them because the mouth was distorted by her talking, you know, but she was talking all the time, so I just kept, take, kept taking pictures. Then I took one of her when she caught this nine and a half pound flathead, which was a big fish, and I took a picture of her which was published in one of the uh, boating magazines or fishing magazines or so forth. But so many of my pictures, as I think back, uh, were of her which is what I really want to say most, but I, I had a few other things that occurred to me. At some point, I don't know when, I had a cheap twin lens reflex camera called a reflector, and which I've, a I've actually bought a replica of, another, an, another copy of, some years ago at a flea market, and it was a twin lens reflex, like the, the poor man's roll reflex. And I think these these good pictures of my mother's one I'll tell you about was taken with that one. 
It was, it was blown up quite big. And um, one of the first things I did when I graduated was to buy one of the first of the single lens reflex cameras. It was a Contax. And uh, I, took, uh, I took a lot of pictures in those days of my first wife. And then when I started to have the children, I, I took a lot of pictures. I had my own dark room uh, in, in the bathroom and only developing and enlarging and so forth. And later at the hospital I did this too. And uh, I used a number of cameras in. I was friendly with a, uh, uh, with a men who owned a camera store. And then, to the, then a, there was a patient came to the mental hospital, I was working out a German. He had no money and so forth. And he had one of the first of the new generation of Leica cameras. And I, he had no money, so I offered to buy it from him. And we worked out a price that the superintendent, we gave him the figures, thought was fair. I didn't want to rob him at all. And I bought this camera. I, I have no idea what happened to it. I don't know where it went. But I've, I always continued to take a lot of pictures. One of my favourites, I can still see it, was of my little daughter. I was using a Minox camera, a little tiny little camera. And I took a picture of her and the place that used to do the Minox processing liked it so much, they blew it up to about, oh, 16 by 20. And here was Kathy in this little bathing costume. It was in the front window of the shop as a, as a display. And I always had, a, you know, a great love uh, for photography, uh, and I've had you know many many cameras, and I still got my when my father died. One of the few mementos of him I have is of his camera. But the, what I wanted to say most is, as I think back, the pictures I remember most are the ones I took at the beginning of my mother. And she did look beautiful, and I can still see them, and she still looks very beautiful in them. I see them in my mind. And uh, to me, somehow, that sums up the very purpose of photography. <laughs>